This morning, we have a perfect reason to get your taxes done and get that refund. We have John Gavigan from Allied Fences back with why now is the time to start a new fence project. Good it's morning. Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. This is a busy time for you. This is, sure we're is. entering the busy time, but that's okay because certainly with tax season here, we need a little incentive to get the job done, yeah. right? There's two, two thoughts about doing it. You know, you can get your estimates now, and as you're getting your tax returns mm -hmm. done, you'll know about how much you have in tax return money to pay for a fence or if you have to add to it. Yeah, all right, sounds good. So we know why now is a time right. to go ahead and start the process. You've brought some samples in today, which we love that you do because you can actually really kind of see them up close. Explain what the most popular types of fences now. The good news is there's so many options. There, there's a lot of options. The most popular right now for privacy fences is your typical white privacy PVC fence. Okay. Um, and then we go into the different um, colors um, and textures. Um, um, that brings the, the privacy to your backyard. You said white is the most popular color. Why do you think people would go towards a brown or a cream colored? When does that kind of best match their landscape? A lot, a lot of the, a lot of people that are looking to for privacy um, in um, in lieu of a you know a standard chain link mm -hmm. fence or something like that, they're looking for something with a with a wood look. You uh -huh. know, or something that's different than white. A little bit more white. rustic looking. And, and white, white is, the, is the most prevalent PVC on the market right now. And then we go up to the tan and the wood grain look and the cedar look as this one is here. Okay. And then now let's talk about aluminum. What are the benefits of that? Why is that so popular as well? I know that's another one. Most of your aluminum uh, fence for residential is done around pools or backyards okay. for, for dogs. And it's typically the, the, uh, the smooth top, the uh, closed top fence. And then, you know, for a perimeter fence around a, you know, a state type property mm -hmm. is we could we put in these types of uh, uh, picket fence mm -hmm. with, with the finials on them, you know, the different types of finials. How tall does that generally go? I mean, can you get it different heights and oh, things? Yeah. yeah, we can go up to eight foot tall. Typically, oh, wow. okay. typically a residential six foot six tall. Six foot, okay. Pool fence is four foot tall, and a pool fence has to only ha can only have two rails, okay. because there's a code restriction between the rails. Okay, and Good the, to know. And, and the pickets. All right. Last but not least, talk about the Simtech fence or what it's called now. The Simtech is is relative. It's not real new, but it's relatively new, and, that, and we're one of the reasons why it's relatively new is because it's come down in price. Okay, so I'd imagine it's probably getting more popular then as it's well. Getting more popular, and uh, most of your newer subdivisions okay. are putting it around for their walls. Okay. Instead of putting a wall up, it's a, it's a little bit less expensive to is put this. Is this it right here? Yes. Okay. It's a little less expensive to put this up than, than it is a block wall or a brick wall. Is this the traditional color of it, or does that, this come, it come in different? It comes in I would several, imagine yes, so. Yes, <laughs> yeah. If someone is, is starting uh, kind of the, the fence project or kind of starting from the beginning, what advice do you have as far as looking for a fence company and, and again, starting that process now? The biggest advice I got for um, the consumer is look for a licensed contractor. It's specifically in certain areas you have to have a license, mm -hmm. certain areas you don't need to have a license, but a licensed contractor will have all the insurance that's required. Um, and companies like us, we have a little bit more than it's required because we not only do residential work, we do commercial work, mm -hmm. municipal work, and government work. Yeah, so, okay. So, um, and uh, you could either e email, call us, set up a time for to get a free estimate, uh, or you can email us a copy of your survey along with on our email request okay. has the information that you can put on you know, request the type. Get that process started. Yep. There's the number, there's the website. Again, Happy New Year. Thank you so happy much. We look forward to seeing you again yeah. soon. Thank you.